We're ready now for the 4 by 100 meter relay, the world and American record, held by the 1984 U.S. Olympic team in Los Angeles, 37.83. And here are our lane assignments. In lane four, we'll have the Florida Clippers, an excellent trio, or excuse me, four athletes running in that race. The University of Arizona tore up the NCAA championships, and then the Santa Monica Track Club out in lane six with a very, very strong team. Now speaking, we'll show you how strong their team is. Let's go back to last week's USA Mobile 100 meter final, uh, an event that Carl Lewis ran at the last second to qualify for Goodwill Games. And if you need to know how good the team is, look at the guys in the blue shirts. Carl Lewis, of course, King Carl wins the race. Mark Witherspoon on the left will come up for second, and Mike Marsh, who isn't here today, was in fourth place at the finish line. Santa Monica Track Club, very dominant in the sprint events, and they have put together four athletes who can really burn up the track in their individual events. Let's take a look at how their group will go. Mark Witherspoon will lead off. He will run the first turn. Former national champion at 100 meters. This man, who has the fastest time in the world over the last two years in the 100 meters, Leroy Burrell, NCAA champion. Third leg will be Floyd Hurd, who is an excellent 200 meter specialist, but runs an excellent turn. And in the anchor, of course, Carl Lewis, who has anchored a few good relays in the history of this particular event. There's never been a better anchor leg runner, Dwight. And he was the anchor man on the four fastest times ever in the four by 100 meter relay. You can see that all the times under 38 seconds by the United States, all anchored by Carl Lewis. Several times Carl had to come from behind to win those races for the U.S. Shouldn't have much trouble coming from behind here. They are definitely the best team on the track. But they've been practicing down at Houston. Very risky relay handoffs. Clippers in four, Arizona in five, and Santa Monica in six. It's Witherspoon in the blue for Santa Monica Track Club, Mark Olivier for Arizona, and Lorenzo Daniel for the Florida Clippers, and a miss pass by Santa Monica Track Club, and they are out of this race, and it will be the University of Arizona in five. The Clippers are in four. Focus turns to Arizona, who themselves had something of a disappointing NCAAs. James Bullock, who's about to take it from this man, Michael Bates, thought he had the race won, looked around and raised his hand, and now they have a problem, and it's going to be all Tony Dees. Florida Clippers will win this uncontested. Tony Dees, the anchor leg for Florida Clippers, and a much-anticipated race does not materialize. Very risky passes by Santa Monica Track Club and a drop baton by Arizona. And this may be an unusual race, Dwight, in the sense that there has been a red flag on the first turn. There's been a flag on the first turn for the Florida Clippers because Lorenzo Daniel ran out of his lane right at the start. Now, Mark Witherspoon, here we see him isolated, leading off for the Santa Monica Track Club. What did he tell me this morning? He says, these risky passes we've been practicing for the last 10 days are scary because we've changed the rhythm at which the man who's taking the baton goes out. And in this case, I don't think that explains the problem because Leroy Burrell just plain wasn't ready to take the baton. He gets tangled up with Mark Witherspoon, and they're just nowhere near making a handoff. Now, Arizona at the NCAAs, they had the race won. Michael Bates ran a great turn there, and that's who we see right here. He handed off to James Bullock, who had the race won at the NCAAs. Bullock looked around, raised his hands, and got out lean. Here, Bullock wants to atone, and they just can't connect at the proper moment, and boom, they're out of the race. Let's take another look at the angle of that pass. They simply just didn't make the pass. No, they were clearly off stride, and a lot of what is involved in relay passing is very careful counting of steps, marks on the track, and then a verbal call to put the hand back, and none of those helped them there. There's the Florida Clippers. They've been declared the winner of the 4 by 100 meter relay, but a very controversial decision. As a red flag was thrown in the first turn, their leadoff runner, Lorenzo Daniel, look where his feet are, Craig. He's all over the line and into the other lane, Dwight. That should be an automatic disqualification as you see him trying to get back into it. But the official, while they saw it, wasn't able to convince his fellow officials that they should be out of the race. 
So there is going to be a rerun. However, only two of the teams are going to run this second race. The University of Arizona will be in lane five. There's Mark Witherspoon of the Santa Monica Track Club. He and Leroy Burrell were unsuccessful in making their exchange, the first exchange, and now they will run again. The Florida Clippers are not going to run this race. I think it's great that these two teams have chosen to run again. A lot of people have come to see these great athletes in this sprint relay. Arizona in five, Santa Monica Track Club in six. Let's see how this risky pass goes between Witherspoon and Burrell. Burrell should be leaving a little earlier this time to make Witherspoon run through the zone, and that's a much better pass. Not a wonderful pass, but at least they made the exchange. Now, it'll be Leroy Burrell to Floyd Hurd for Santa Monica. And that one looked very, very good. Tom Telez and Mike Takaha, the Houston coaches have been working with these four athletes over the last couple of weeks. All right, now it's a very close race as Hurd Oh, 